And a good day, all of you. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition. Bush Light Peach. Right around this time last year, I believe, or maybe further down, I had, or maybe it might have been last July or August, I did Bush Light, uh, Bush Light Apple. And uh, this is a limited edition. Uh, certain marks can get this. The Bush Light Apple actually has been around a lot longer, but again, limited edition. Certain markets can get this. So, saw this, uh, was at the, um, I was at this uh, liquor store, um, not not far from me, right? Actually, not that far from my job, uh, right across from the service station, racetrack. So, I was there picking up some things for uh, one of our Friday night get-togethers, I believe it was. And um, I, I saw a guy had brought a, you know, a case of it up to the front, and I said, hey, the Apple, I was just, just by conversation comments say, hey by the way you ever get a chance to try the if you try the apple the apple's good too oh yeah yeah he said well okay well you have you had any peach i said no i haven't had the peach you want you want you want some yeah sure so didn't pay for it so this guy just gave me two cans of the uh, bush light peach so so i said let me go review one and i'll save the other for maybe later today i don't know if i feel like it but anyway uh same abv as bush light Bush Light Apple, 4.1% uh, ABV. Really, there's no really tasty. If you taste the Bush and Bush um, AB InBev has really been doing a lot of heavy promotion of Bush over the last year and a half. Excuse me. So I'm just kind of saw I had to get some white down on my table. Anyway. Um, yeah, AB InBev has been doing a lot of promotion for all of their budget friendly beers of um, especially Bush and Bush Light particularly, and they've been, so far that that that, that uh, strategy has worked out for them. Um, I'm not going to get into the whole Bud Light controversy, that's neither here nor there. But in any event, same, looks the same as Bush Light. You know, you can actually see my face through, now you can see me. Rome of Peach, of course. No, no frills about it, so as I've had a cheers. Again, what these beers are, these flavored beers, really, except for the, the heavy duty strong ones, which I'm not gonna recommend. But for some of these heavy flavored beers, this is what they are they're about. Light, something light, crisp, refreshing, nothing overly heavy, nothing that's going to put me in a bad way, or many of them, or a lot of people in a bad way, but that's all they are. There's no frills, nothing too fancy about these at all, so um, my early beginning drinking days, uh, back when I turned 21, 1997, um, you know, these beers were very bush light and bush were like really the bargain barrel basement beers. They were dirt cheap, you know, three at best four bucks. Obviously, times have changed now compared to what we are today. Four bucks for, for a six pack doesn't get you far. Now, four bucks for a, a 16 ounce cans, depends what they are and what type of beer it is. It was a malt liquor probably, but, you know, but, um, yeah, so Bush Light, again, made this introduction, 1989, uh, of course, Bush, the original Bush beer came in in 1955, um, and they were considered, um, they're heavy duty. Heavy duty, sorry, did some there. Um, more, I guess, there. It wasn't viewed as a budget beer at the time as it is now, but it was viewed as right up there with Budweiser as a very complimentary, you know, sort of another brand that they put out. But uh, now um, it's, it's viewed as budget, and their sales are still pretty good. Um, I don't get Bushlight a lot. Uh, I tend to have other beers that are more standby in my refrigerator. Um, but for what it does and, and how light it is, you know, 
fine. We are in a white beer drinking society, unfortunately now, but which is okay. You know, it's honestly taking it a little easy is always a good thing. Um, like I said, I tried the apple last year, and uh, I had it was the big sixteen on twenty four ounce can. Um, I'm sure this is going to do well. Uh, summer again, we're going to meet the beginning of summer. We're on, almost there. It depends where you are. Summer probably just hit now, but um, we're getting there. Uh, I'm sure these these light, very enjoyable, crisp, you know, malt beverages or lagers that are within the low ABVs of four, three point eight, three point nine, or three point two percent, whatever. Basically, just drink a non-alcoholic beer, which you know, I don't do that at all. Um, up until four point three, four point four, these. Easy drinking, come home, end of the day, I'm freaking tired. I just want to kick back and relax and have a good time. And the apple is one of those, and sure, the peach is going to be that. Um, I'm not going to pay them what the price for the for a 24-pack, 24, 24 which I saw, but I'm sure someone will. I think it's going to be 24 packs of us. 24-pack, yeah, I believe. 24-pack or 30-pack or even the 12-pack, but I don't know. For me... I, I, I'll get a few cans, but uh, but not buying that much for for a peach flavored lager. But I'm guessing it is. People are gonna pay what they want to pay. So, uh, it's similar again. Besides the peach flavor, it's a good, enjoyable, crisp, simple, no frills lager, light lager. Nothing more left to say about it. So, uh, for the style and uh, for. The, you know, for the style, for what it is, I'm going to go, um, I'm going to be nice, you know, because these are things I don't really drink a lot of, but again, I, I understand why people do, because, hey, something easy, summertime, hot, I want nothing overly heavy, so I'll get this, or, or maybe just buy a simple, plain old, no frills light beer, so, uh, I'm going to go, so, 8.1, so that's a B, B minus around it for me, just not my thing, but, you know, it's okay. It's the same for me. So a B minus 8.1 for the Bushlight Peach. Check it out. It's limited edition in your local market, grocery store, package store, whatever. Find it. Enjoy a peach flavored beer. Bushlight Peach. Check it out. And Sean Henderson, Pierre the Beverage Rambleton. Keep on watching. Always cheers. Live, laugh, and love. The peach that is Bushlight. It's enjoyable. Oh, yeah.